Hello everyone. Today I'm going to present demo on uh, IBM API Connect, so which helps us to the beginners who are planning to learn or the explore and to start on the IBM API Connect. I have the 12 plus years of experience in the industry. So especially, um, I completely work with the IBM stack of technologies uh, along with the open stack. I'm in the phase of designing and developing the solutions in terms of uh, in terms of enterprise applications and other web applications as well. At the same time, mostly while designing the solution in terms of retail, the domain space, whether it's in retail, healthcare, and the banking or the supply chain management or the manufacturing domain. So. I do have exposure on designing the solutions and the integration uh, patterns in terms of domains, you know, different domains with IBM Stack and the Open Stack as well. So I was working, I worked on, you know, IBM API Connect, the IBM Stack and the IB and the Data Power and them too, along with the Open Stack. I usually design the solutions on Java J2E, the MuleSoft, FPG and the Tipco products. So in terms of in, in different domains, domains might be retail, healthcare and the banking. In the supply chain management. What exactly this product and what is the use of this product? When we supposed to go for this product? We will see in the upcoming slides. Before that, you just find in this pane in the course curriculum what we are going to cover. So we are we are going to tell about what exactly this product and uh, by using this product, what we are going to achieve. At the same time, we are going to discuss on API definitions, REST API, SOAP APIs, and the policies and how we supposed to audit the transactions and uh, value transactions are we supposed to audit and analytics capabilities of this product and the trouble and the developer portal all related to this product and uh, you know this product features we are going to discuss in this uh, course this is just outline uh, you can see in detail course curriculum you can find in the word document which we are going to share once you approach so this is just outline we placed in this presentation so we are going to cover in this demo session first of all introduction to the ibm api connect and what exactly this api connect what is the benefits by using this api connect uh, whether this api connect and the other esbs both are same and how exactly both are variant and which scenario we are going to come for this product all those things we are going to see Along with that, how we supposed to implement the solution in this and what are the components by using which components we are going to implement the solution and what exactly the terminology inside this product, how we are going to call each and every component and policies, whatever it is. So the product terminology and the components and the implementation benefits and what is the use of this product? Each and everything we are going to cover on in this demo session. IBM API Connect is a gateway product. So this is just a gateway product and the product is from the IBM. And uh, this just act as a gateway to the existing services. What do you mean by this gateway? What what exactly when we we'll go for this product? This product I can say when I'm saying gateway product, it's a proxy product. Okay, already we have the services which are implemented in our private zone, which is the non DMZ zone, which is the private network of our organization. Already services are available. Might be those services are the legacy services. Or might be uh, those services we can't expose to the outside the world due to the security constraints. Okay, so all these th all these things in, uh, when there are uh, considerations, this IP API connect uh, will comes into the picture, and uh, this will sit in the you know DMZ zone, which act as a proxy, which act as a you know security layer to the our existing services. So here also in this product also we can create the services and we can deploy the services. The services may be any API, either it may be, you know, types of APIs we can design inside this IBM API. And this is the product from the IBM as we discussed and which is launched on the 2013. Currently, 2018 is the new version which is landed from the IBM. And, uh, but stable product is the V5. Even 2018 is stable, but, uh, so, so many clients so far are using in the V5 version IBM API Connect and the few of the clients have migrated to that 2018. Yes, 2018 also it is released. It is uh, stable, but new features they are at to stable. 100% stable product version I can say V5. So it runs on the virtual appliance or the, you know, uh, and or it runs on the event software as well. So as a gateway, both the facilities are available. This product mostly, you know, used for uh, for the proxying purpose. You can see in the previous screen, okay, this product, uh, you know, from the actually IBM is acquired by the strong, IBM is acquired strong loop company. So on top of the strong loop, there's a framework called, they implemented the you know, open source framework, or, uh, which is the micro gateway framework, which is the loopback framework. On, on top of the Node.js, on top of that framework, whatever the APIs which we designed inside this product, 
So that APS is going to run on top of the loopback framework or data power gateway as well. So there is a one more product from the IBM, which is the IBM data power. So that act as a runtime. That act as a runtime to the our APS, whatever we designed inside the IBM API Connect. So the APS which you designed inside the IBM API Connect, either those APS can run on micro gateway or those APS can, can run on data power gateway. But terms and conditions are applied. You can see the product versions. So let it start with 2013 uh, 1.0 after 2.0 3.0 and 2015 they, uh, they released uh, version 4 in the quarter wise each and every quarter they you know they came up with the new features in the 4.0 and 2016 onwards 5.0 also released and 2018 again they jump back to the version 2018. Okay current version of the IBM API Connect is the 2008. So what exactly this API Connect? So why we need to go for again this is the gateway product which helps us to proxy the services even we can implement we can create the services inside the IBM API Connect. we can create the API the API can be REST API the API can be SOAP API or you can proxy the API so all the features are available See, everywhere we can create the APIs not only in this product but IBM API Connect which helps us to develop or the create APIs which is very faster so we can create the APIs very fastly very few steps it will take to create the API and implement that API, yes, that's it, you can deploy it. So fast, you know, we can implement that APS very quickly. So we can create the APS at the same time, we can run those APS and we can manage those APS and we can provide the security to those APS. Okay, we'll see the what kind of a security it can and while we are managing what kind of a data we are going to get, all those things we are going to discuss in the upcoming slides. And uh, as we discussed in the previous slide, this what are the APIs which we designed, those APIs can be deployed either on the micro gateway or on the data power gateway, but terms and conditions are applied. So all those things, okay, either you, what are the APIs you deployed, you can run on any gateway, but 2018 onwards, uh, the micro gateway is going to be is deprecated okay only data power gateway is there that is the one more product from the ibm so that is the runtime environment for the ibm api Connect. if you are planning if you are interested to buy this product and this this product is offered in three ways either we can install on our toolkit we can install on our desktop i mean our laptop yes i use we, we are going to get the designer so with that designer you can implement or you can implement on the on premise completely like you can install on the one server and we can access those servers by creating the users which is the management servers or you can install on the platform as a service which is in the cloud so that is the blue mix so you can either you can get this license from that also so anything is fine it is going to be offered in the three ways so the license was again if you are talk essential professional and enterprise so essential for the developers, so the developers who are planning to explore on this product, yes, we can get it. And professionals, again, it's a licensed version for the single uh, organization projects and enterprise for the cross organization projects. Depends on the need, depends on our requirement. We are going to, we are planning to, we are going to buy the license, product license. And we can deploy, you know, wherever we want. Either we want to deploy on the on-premise, yes, we can deploy. Either we want to deploy on the on-cloud, yes. So uh, IBM API Connect having the provision, we can deploy on the on cloud or the on premise. So what exactly this benefits? As we discussed, speed development. So we can de we can design the services very fastly, and we can expose the APS to the external world and appropriate security policies. We are going to apply those APS in order to provide the security to those APS. The security can be three types. Either we can, we are going to get OAuth or the basic auth or the API key. So these three level of the securities are available. So based on our requirement, we can provide the security. Uh, to the existing APS or the you know whatever the APS which we are going to implement uh, you know freshly at the same time uh, uh, analytics dashboard that is the beauty of this product so for each and every APA the transactions is going to be flow, flowing right the TPS the transaction per second how many uh, transactions per second per day or the per hour last 20 days so such kind of an analytics dashboard by default is available in this IBM API Connect so that you will get the you can trace those transactions how many are the success how many are the failure or whether the transactions are initiated on this day or not yet initiated all those things by default we are going to get uh, you know analytics of the APIs in the dashboard if you are interested to create the APIs uh, inside the IBM API Connect yes we can design the APIs the API might be REST API or the API might be SOAP API before once you decided what kind of an API you are planning to implement so first of all we supposed to you know create the specification that is the first point APS specification so APS specification we are going to design with the help of APS specification languages those languages might be RAML, API or the open API specification 
usually IBM stack is going to follow the open API specification. So what exactly this specification? So while you are creating the API definition or the test API or the SOAP API definition, the specification is meant for what is the request, what is the response, what is the request body, uh, response body, what are the elements they're expecting, what is the URL where we hosted, and uh, is there anything, you know, uh, what are the methods we are going to expose, either get or the post or the put, what are the HTTP methods, all we are going to place in the specification level. So the consumer standpoint, once we share this specification to the consumer, consumer can easily identify, easily understand, yes, this API is exposed, okay, in this method, and this is the request, this is the response, and these parameters are expecting. So if you want this kind of a response, we supposed to send these parameters. So everything, each and every in detail, uh, we are going to list it out in the specification. Once the specification is ready, then you can implement that API. So once API is implemented, so you can subscribe that API. So you, you design. So this is just API development lifecycle. So the lifecycle, you design the specification and implement it and deploy it. So immediately you can, the persons who are interested are the consumer applications or the consumers who are interested, they can subscribe those APIs. Uh, IBM API Connect is one of the proxy product. It's a gateway product and we here we discussed we can create the API, we can run our API and we can manage our API. So what not? Okay, so we are saying that we are we are creating, we are running, we are managing, we are pro going to provide the security. Then ESB also is going to provide the same, right? What exactly the difference? So this is the proxy product which are going to sit on the DMZ zone. So we can implement only the few transformations, not the complex transformation, not business interface development. So those comes under the ESB. That to ESB is the universal protocol connectivity available. That might be IAB or that might be a MuleSoft or that might be web methods. Whatever may be the ESB, those are universal connectivity protocol, whereas this is the gateway product. So most probably, you know, HTTP or the HTTPS or the WebSocket secure. Okay, those only the few protocol limitation, whereas the ESB, we have the universal protocol limitation. That, uh, that too, in the data formats wise handling, in IBM API management, mostly we are going to deal with key value pairs data formats like XML and JSON. Whereas other data formats, yes, the product is capable, but terms and conditions are applied. So whereas ESB, so it is widely going to support the data formats, whether it's an key value pair XML JSON, or it may be, you know, any delimited text, whether it's a CSV or the flat file or any other data formats, uh, ESB is going to support. That is the reason we can say we can't compare API management and API products on the enterprise service, but we have other enterprise, uh, we have other API connect products also from other vendors. Whatever we discussed so far, like, you know, we can create the APS, we can implement APS. So if you want to implement the APS, mostly we are going to implement the APS in the API manager toolkit, which is the, which is going to come from the designer. So here you can see API manager, which helps us to create the APS. Okay, API gateway, we are going to deploy our APIs inside the API gateway and the developer portal. Uh, developer portal is the one of the other component where we are going to publish uh, to the, where we are going to publish the API to the outside the world. We'll see all these are the components. We'll see all those things in the next slides because uh, those components are listed in the upcoming slides. Components of an IBM API Connect. So the components mostly uh, toolkit. So this is going to comes with the designer. If you install designer on your local system, yes, with the help of that designer, you are going to get the toolkit. So then you can design your APIs. This is only specific to your local system. No, if you are interested to work with the management servers, uh, which are installed in the one VM, okay, you can access via web, web browser as well. So either toolkit or the API manager, you can create the APIs or you can develop the APIs. And the gateway servers are the collectors. These are the, as we discussed, these are the two types of runtimes, gateway servers, you know, it's, it's, it's our data power gateway where you can run, uh, where you can deploy your services, whereas Collect2 is the uh, microservice gateway which is going to run on top of Lubeck framework. So here also you can you can deploy your APIs, but terms and conditions are applied. Only the few functionalities are readily available in the collectors, but gateway servers, more functionality is available. And developer portal and the management servers, management servers is nothing but API manager. So where uh, we are going to create our APIs. As we discussed in the toolkit also, you can create the APIs and the management server with the help of API manager also, you can create the APIs. So once you create it, you can publish those APIs to the outside world with, or you know, you can advertise those APIs to the outside world in order to sell those APIs by using developer portal component. So developer portal is one of the component. With the help of developer portal, we can publish our API to the external world 
we can advertise our APS to the external world so that we are all the consumers who are the consumers are interested to subscribe those APS. Those consumers are going to subscribe. API designer slash toolkit. The help of that we can create or API manager we can create. Whereas if you are interested to run collectors, yes, if you are planning to provide the security by using the gateway servers, yes, we can run it. And if you are planning to publish by using developer portal, you can publish that API to the outside the world. So that consumers can look into it and if they're interested, they can subscribe that API. So as we discussed, one is the default dashboards, which consists of analytics of the each and every API and each and every transaction of the particular API. At the same time, uh, you know, develop a portal to advertise our APIs. It provides the basic transformation. It has the basic transformation capability by using XSLT or the gateway step. At the same time, it can it can provide the security as well. At the same time, the default dashboard, which consists of all the analytics and uh, developer portal. These are the most benefits of this product. In terms of analytics, you can see in the dashboard, we can see most active APAs, most active applications. What is the TPS for this APA? How much, you know, how much TPS are coming? How many are the 200? Okay. How many are the 404? How many are the 500? Everything we can see in the analytics dashboard, which is the predefined, which is the default dashboard are going to get we are not going to set up anything technology in the market this is the one of the you know i can say one of the leading technology in the market in the gateway products we have okay 20 plus solutions in the 20 plus gateway products in the market but i can say this is the one of the topmost technology which is giving the toughest competitions in the for the other gateway products and the scope wise okay and currently currently all the enterprise applications who are implemented the enterprise application integration they are using this product to provide the security to the APS and to get the advertisements or uh, to get them you know uh, TPS of that APS so scope wise this technology um, you know currently you know all the enterprise application for 500 fortune companies are used IBM is offering certification program uh, and uh, so if you guys are interested yes we are going to support to do the certification program as well and uh, you know that program is uh, basically offered from the IPM and we are going to teach you how to certify in the certification wise uh, what are the certification questions mostly it is going to ask so in what areas whether in the product integration whether in the design solutions whether in the product architecture or any solution architecture designing so in what area the certification questions is going to come into the picture it's yes, all the things we are going to discuss in the session if you are interested on the certification program and after that, you can you can subscribe that uh, certification as well. So other competitors of IBM API Connect, one of the toughest competitors I can say in this screen you can see uh, you know five to six competitors, but one of the toughest competitor is the APZ. So APZ is giving the toughest competition to IBM API Connect. So whereas other than that, um, you know CLA seven or the Microsoft yes, uh, to some extent, but APZ is the toughest competitor. And uh, Microsoft Azure and the Kong API Gateway and Tipco Mastery, yes, they are giving, they are trying their best. Uh, they are also one of the popular gateways. And uh, what project we are going to demonstrate in this, uh, you know, in these sessions, uh, we are going to discuss about one of the logistics API, which co which covers uh, orchestration of the services, along with that, which covers how the transactions are going to generate, what are the logging framework, and how the logs are going to generate in case of transaction is failed, how we supposed to handle all the things we are going to, you know, explain in this project. Coming to the lab setup. Either, uh, you know, you're supposed to have the system requirement with 24 GP minimum to install the gateway server and the management server, all those things. And uh, if not, either you can install with the Node.js or the IBM API Connect Bluemix, Bluemix account, which is supposed to contain the toolkit, the things. Third option, third option, if you have the internet access minimum 30 MBPS, it's fine. In the, we can create the free instance, uh, which is available on the on cloud. So we'll create the instance, we'll work out. So we have the three options. Okay, either in the on-premise in your system, uh, data for gateway versus uh, API manager or API manager versus Lubeck framework. So uh, this is nothing but micro gateway. So, so either the two categories in the on-premises or the on-cloud, we can create the instance. We can run, we can create the services and they, we can practice. Sessions, we are going to cover each and every day the curriculum. So lab sessions are going to, you know, conduct what are the labs in the classes we are going to discuss on top of that. We are going to provide the assessments and the documentations and uh, what are, and uh, where you want to explore more, the useful reference links also we are going to provide, whether it's in the uh, developer works or from the product info center. So all the reference links we are going to provide and even we help us to pro build the resumes if you are interested to if you are interested it helps us to build the resumes as well every day the questions you know once the session is completed we are going to discuss any doubts on that session if not in the next day we, once we are planning to start the session 
uh, we are going to again we are going to start with the questionary session if you are okay then only we'll go for the next session that's all from uh, okay my end hope you enjoyed have a nice day